This is Pat Holloway, field agronomist for Bex Hybrids in Southwest Iowa. So every year, we're usually dealing with a lot of residue when we're planting our soybeans, whether it be a no-till or whether we vertical till to size that residue prior to, to planting. We're dealing with a lot of residue and in narrow row situations like a 15 inch row planter like we have behind us, how do we best manage that with row cleaners? Often we run into the problem or the, the back rows will cover the front rows as we go through that in those narrow row situations. So today, so today I'm with Chris Grimm, our, our Colfax Practical Farm Research Lead here and with something he is putting on their planter that may help this uh, continual problem we have. So Chris? Thanks Pat. So here behind us is our Kinsey split row planter that we use here at Colfax and these are the row cleaner brackets that we had on it. They're uh, Yetter row cleaner bracket with our shark tooth row cleaners and they do a good job of moving residue out of the way but what we found last year is that as we planted the, row, the front row units would move the trash out of the way and then the back row units would actually push trash back over the front row units. So we thought we needed to find a solution for that. And Yetter has a product that's a, dis, a different row cleaner bracket and it's a short narrow bracket, what it's called. And what it does is it changes the angle of the row cleaners. So in a narrow row situation, it doesn't move the trash out as far. And this also works well uh, with high speed planting as when you move faster through the field with a wider angle, you're gonna move trash over onto the other row units. So this works well in a narrow row situation and with high speed planting. And we have these shark tooth row cleaners that we're using and you can mount any row cleaner on these brackets. And the study that we're doing uh, here at Colfax and at other locations within PFR on corn and soybeans in a no-till situation is we have a row cleaner study and we're utilizing our clean sweep system from precision planting that's a pneumatic uh, row cleaner system we are testing a floating setting which is zero pounds of air a no row cleaner situation that's when we have these lifted all the way up and then we're also testing 25 pounds of down pressure to see how that affects emergence and overall yield so these are the things that we're doing in PFR to find practical solutions for these heavy residue situations in no-till planting. Thank you, Chris. So I really look forward to seeing how both the clean sweep settings work uh, as they're testing in both corn and soybeans this year, but I also am looking forward to see if we can improve that residue management on these narrow row situations planting soybeans. Thank you and have a good day.